Hello and welcome to this video where we will be discussing the chart of account on NetSuite. To begin with, I will assume that you're using NetSuite with the administrator role and that you've got the permission to do any changes on the system. So first of all, let's have a look at the definition of the chart of account. A chart of account is a list of all your company's accounts. It provides you with a view of every account within your general ledger, as well as the balances each account has. There are many types of NetSuite accounts. The main types are revenue, expenses, cost of goods sold, receivables, payables, bank, over current assets, over current liabilities, over assets and equity. There are three additional types that include fixed assets, deferred revenue and deferred expenses. These three additional types will show only once you're using the related bundles from NetSuite, which are the fixed asset, the revenue recognition, and the expense amortization bundles. Now, how do we actually use a single chart of account for multiple subsidiaries? So companies in different lines of business will have different looking chart of accounts. Multi-subsidiary companies can choose to keep a single chart of account and use cost center codes, such as alphanumeric prefixes on account names and numbers. Parent accounts will be shared to the HQ and the subsidiary is using them. Fiscal reporting may require some companies to show local chart of account numbers even on the parent accounts. This may be achieved using accounting context and statutory account mapping. So have a look at this on the help. It's really important if you're using NetSuite for multi-subsidiary context and using these statutory account mapping and accounting context will help you manage the chart of account much more efficiently. Now, how are chart of accounts used on NetSuite? So whenever there's an item, whenever there's a customer event on a transaction, there is an accounting impact to these accounts. For example, your sales invoices will impact your receivables and the VAT, but also the sales account related to the items on the transaction. Journal entries will let the user decide which account to debit and credit. And the employee expense claims, the expense categories, the billable timesheets, the payroll uh, will actually be impacting the related accounts from the chart of account. Now, there are non-posting account types. Uh, these are specifically for uh, transaction values that are supposed to be tracked but will not appear on the profit and loss or the balance sheet. The VAT is a quite a tricky uh, subject in terms of chart of account because you can create your own VAT tax control accounts by going to set up accounting, uh, set up taxes and tax control accounts. Uh, or you can decide within your set of taxes to allow NetSuite to choose from any account that you decide to set your control account to be on the VAT. So, uh, of course, these accounts are used for other purposes, such as the fiscal reports. Uh, I'm talking about the profit and loss, the balance sheet, the trial balance, the general ledger, and for different uh, countries using NetSuite, there are obviously more financial reports that are impacted. Now, how do you access your chart of account on NetSuite? So if you're using the administrator role, you can just go to list accounting and accounts and you will see your list of accounts there. If you're not using the administrator role, uh, then of course, I wouldn't know how to help you there. So the best thing to do is to use the classic interface on your own home set preferences menu. That will help you to be able to see the lists, accounts uh, within the menu, instead of having to look for it within your own. You can always come back to your own, uh, your own view if you don't want to use a classic interface after all. Now, if you're looking at the chart of account and you're, you're seeing that some accounts are not making sense to you, it could be that your company is using the statutory account mapping and forgot to map a few accounts in there. Uh, it could also be that the role that you're using to look at the accounts uh, has not been given access to specific accounts. 
And also, it could also be that some accounts have been made inactive. So, for example, if you're an administrator trying to create a new chart of account account, you save it, and NetSuite is telling you that the account name or number already exists. When you look down at the list, you cannot see the actual specific account there. So that's probably because either the account has been made inactive or that it's been shared to uh, another subsidiary that doesn't include yours. Or thirdly, it could be that the chart of account that you're looking at is one that's been tied to statutory account mapping and are not showing you uh, the actual full list of accounts that are available on your account. Now, to create a new account, you can go to Lists, Accounting, Accounts, New. There you can uh, put your account number, the account name, the account type. Uh, if, you, if it's an opening balance account, for example, if you have a balance to put in there, you can put the balance right there. If you already saved the account and forgot to put the balances, it's okay. You can do a journal entry and enter the opening balances through journal entries. Now, deleting a chart of account is not allowed if you already posted transactions to it. However, you can journal out the transactions and make the account inactive. So I hope that this short tutorial on the chart of account on NetSuite made sense to you. If you've got any further questions, please feel free to reach out to us and we'll be glad to help you proceed on NetSuite and on the accounting part of the system. Thank you and goodbye.